Well, friends, we, we would love to be on trail right now, but we're going to have to wait at least three hours for the Postal Service to show up. So we are literally just hanging out here waiting, along with a few, a few other PCT hikers. They're not waiting like we're waiting. I think most of them are ready to go, but Top Rock, any comments for the day? We're waiting. <laughs> Well, my friends, we are doing a USPS enforced zero day. That means... Or weekend. Or weekend. We don't know. That could be really bad if it's the weekend. It's a Friday. Our box that was supposed to be here yesterday did not arrive yesterday. Two of our three packs arrived today. The two bear canisters, the weird things, those arrived. But the third, the standard box, it should have been, you know... All automated equipment handling, real easy stuff. Yeah, it didn't make it. it. It's last indication is it's in Seattle on its way. But we're going to see it tomorrow? I don't know. You'll have to come along and find out. We hope it does. Otherwise, since it's Saturday tomorrow, it doesn't come tomorrow. It won't come on Sunday. We'll be here till Monday. I think we have to be figuring something out. It's just insane. Oh, well. We're hanging out here, right past. There's a beautiful lake. We can get food. Not good food. You know, pizza and breakfast sandwiches. Gas station food. Gas station food. It's good gas station, but it's gas station food nonetheless. Hang in there with us. Hey friends, we're gonna wrap it up for today. Today's just been waiting, hanging out and eating food at the uh, at the gas station, and waiting till tomorrow. Hopefully around the same time, we'll see packages arrive, and hopefully ours will be in it, and we'll be able to hit the trail tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I gotta give credit to Cracker Barrel though. Uh, it's the gas station here. It actually has better services than the inn that we stayed at, um, and those services are you know they're not cheap, but they're they're really much less expensive than getting a room at the place where it's doesn't have a big enough hot water heater to support the guests that are there. The Cracker Barrel has showers, they have laundry, they have really good Wi-Fi, which the inn has no Wi-Fi, no internet connection at all. So it's it's good, but it's kind of inconvenient. You're out in the back with a whole lot of people, so not a tough place to make videos and upload them. So nothing, we didn't get anything out of here. Sorry about that. We will get you videos as soon as we can. Anyway, I think that's it for tonight. Tomorrow, we'll let you know if we get a package or... Well, we're stuck here for two more days because it's Saturday tomorrow and there's no mail delivery on Sunday and that could lead us, leave us being here till Monday or later since there have been no updates on our package since it hit Seattle two days ago. It is still morning, but it's almost noon. We're still here, hanging out, waiting for our package. Anytime. Hopefully it'll arrive, anytime. And then we'll get packed up and get back on trail. In the meantime, just hang out. We did notice it is not nearly as crowded today. It's a Saturday. Maybe the hikers are staying out of town on a Saturday. Or maybe the bubble has passed. That would be awesome if we crisscross bubbles and we're now back to uh, normal hiker trail levels. We'll let you know once we get out there. So maybe, maybe today's the day. Yay, the box did arrive, and now we're getting ready to figure out how to pack it all into our bear canisters. Well, not all of it. You don't have to put the first night's dinner, today's snacks, and just everything else. How's it looking, Top Rock? Not like I remember it, but that was a month and some ago, so what good is memory? Anyway, 
It's all gonna fit somehow. We're working on it. Hey friends, we are making our way back to the trail. Should be there in about five minutes. It's three tenths of a mile down the road. But I'm gonna show you the sign here that's uh, on display on the highway as we're heading out into the forest. Well, for this section of the trail, we've had to add back in bear canisters. So, they just started that in April. I think I mentioned that to you before. So we've picked up bear canisters and we've lost our chairs. With the back. What's that? The chair with a back. The chair with Not a back. Chair. Not just a chair, a chair with the back. That's true. Oh, we so gotta... we've given up our chairs that have a back. We have picked up the bear canisters, which you can use as a seat. So, not a total loss. We've also sent home our, our normal food storage bags and a couple extra pair of socks that I was hauling by mistake. I gotta admit though, it's kinda nice to have a fresh pair of socks every day for four days. That was pretty cool. That won't be happening anymore. Uh, what else? I think that's about it, right? We're not gonna go very far today because I'm tired. No, because it's already two o'clock when we're finally getting on trail after getting our stuff. It's just, just an right. afternoon hike. Just an easy afternoon hike. The packs feel, although heavier, they're okay. they're okay. So that's a good thing. All right, we're gonna get moving. Back in the forest. Kind of nice to be here. I don't do very well with sitting around waiting for things, and that was a long wait in town. But we're out here, weather's good, hiking's nice, trailer's not too intense. I think I told you, Top Rock broke the tip off of one of the trekking poles trying to punch a hole in the can. So we also swapped trekking poles so he could use mine because he's the one I'm worried about his knees. Me, it's more about just getting up and down the hills. So I'm using one trekking pole for now and he's using mine. That's working out okay so far. We'll see how it goes after 100 miles. This is deer lake or pond not sure which just above white pass a couple miles in pretty easy hike definitely see some people camping on the far side of it but it looks like a real real pretty lake good place to spend some time and do some swimming hey but not us not today top rock is here to get water do we need water for camp no i think there's things Okay, you heard it. I don't have to get water for camp. There you go. Nice little Washington Lake. Twenty-three hundred miles. So we reached our destination for the evening, about six miles in, so kind of a Nero, but that's not bad considering that we actually couldn't get out of, of town until two. Uh, but as you can see, we're up here. Not a whole lot of things to see today. A couple of nice ponds, a couple of nice lakes. We captured those for you, so you got to see that. Uh, but beyond that, it's kind of just been a walk in the forest. Uh, Top Rock did mention that the packs, even though I'm saying how light they are and comfortable they are because we're not carrying all that Indian cuisine, uh, his comment was, uh, what, what was it's, it you said about the pack? It's heavy. What, something about it being heavy. <laughs> yeah, something about it being heavy. Yeah. It's, it's still heavy. Uh, yeah. You know, it is. It, first out of town, it's got uh, six days worth of food in it, plus water, plus we now have the bear canisters. So even though we gave up a pound of chair that we sent back, uh, we're heavier than usual. But it, for me, it felt okay. The, the trail's been good to us today. So that's about all there is to say. Anything you'd like to add, Top Rock? Just getting it set up. Fair winds. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.